This is the lesson for week four, abstract art, and it is based off of Northwest Coastal Native American art. We will be doing a salmon and filling it in with abstract traditional designs. First, your students will all have a blank paper um, in front of them, and you're going to walk them through mapping out the basic shape of the salmon. So to do that, I want you to have them draw a dot on the left in the middle of the paper a dot on the right, also in the middle of the paper, and then a dot about an inch or two down in the center of that. And then lastly, we're gonna go between, whoops, these two dots here and do a dot in between, there we go, <laughs> in between those two dots. So it's gonna make a slight curve. And now we get to go and basically connect again our roadmap of dots to create the body of the salmon. So I'll start at one dot, curve up and around to the other, continue going around to the other side, then I'll Create the bottom curve between those two dots and then continue down to that side. So that's the basic shape of the body. We're going to be doing some traditional shapes now to create the fins. Down here at the bottom is a crescent shape creating that back fin. I'm actually going to bring this line down more. So for the crescent shape, it's a large half circle. And then I'm gonna connect these two bottom areas with a curved line. So that's the crescent shape that you'll see often in the Native American designs. Now you're going to do the separating line between the head and the body. So it's about a third of the way over in our um, original shape here. And I'll just take a curved line and connect that top side down to the bottom side. Now that we have this line here, we can better know where to do our top fin. So I'll start and do a dot on his back and a second dot. And between these two dots, I will do a U shape from that printout in your lesson plan. It swings up, across, and then slides back down. For the bottom two fins, we're also gonna be doing U-shapes, a repetition of that motif. So we'll slide down, go across, and slide back up. And the last fin is exactly the same, just a little bit smaller to fit right in there. So now that your students have followed along with that, they should have their fish type shape um, on their paper. And now you will guide them through adding the abstract designs to the fish. So. The object of this is not to make it a realistic fish with scales and things like that, but rather to design it so that it's interesting and pleasing to look at. So you're gonna walk them through adding those traditional motifs to their design. And the students will follow your directions, but not every paper will look the same because they're gonna choose what size and where to place their shapes. So for example, you can start out by saying, add a large ovoid to the body. So the students will know that the body is this section here, but every student can add an ovoid in the placement and the size that they want. So I think I'll add mine down here. An ovoid has a straight bottom and a curved top, kind of like a slice of bread. So there's my ovoid and students can do theirs upside down, sideways, as big as they want, um, and each one will look different. After that, you can say, let's add a crescent to the tail. So I think I'll do my crescent upside down. And again, your students will make it long, skinny, big, small, wherever they wanna do it there. Add two circles to the head. I'm gonna do one circle, and then I think I'll do another circle. Add three fine lines to the fins. All right, which fin? That's completely up to them. I'm gonna choose the big fin up here and do three thin lines. One, 
two, three. And again, they can cross, they can be parallel, however the student wants to do it. And they should not be copying their neighbor, they should be doing their own um, placement and their own, using their own creativity to do it. And then from there, you wanna show the students again that paper that shows the traditional motifs because they can then add more designs to their fish um, without you guiding them through it. So they can look at those images and begin to continually um, finish it until it has enough design to make it look finished and balanced. So I'll go in now and just start adding maybe an ovoid to the head and maybe an interior ovoid within that. Um, I will add some more crescents to the back of him. And again, you don't need to lead your students through this. They can just look up at those designs and kind of figure out what they want to do. I'll do some filled in dots here. And I'll do some curved lines within his back. And maybe I'll do a filled in dot in his eye and some more crescents down here. So it might get a little crazy. Some students might wanna add a lot. Some students might wanna keep it a little bit more simple and clean, it's up to them. Once the students have completed their abstract designs within the shape of the fish, then you will give them a black marker the exterior lines of the designs will be thicker. These are called form lines. And um, traditionally, the Native Americans of this region always did th really thick outlines on the exterior um, lines. And then some of their interior lines could be thin. So the students will use their black marker first, thicken the lines, fill in some of the areas with just black. And then they will pick one or mo more primary colors to accent their designs. So the primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. So they can choose maybe just red to make it look very traditional, or they could do red and blue, red, blue, and yellow, whatever they wanna do.